Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. The video introduces into the surface generation workflows with US Master version 9.1. We want to explain the three major workflows and how they can be processed in US Master. One workflow will be the classic orthophoto, which can be processed in the area mapping processing file type. Here we will process the point cloud with the feature-based matching least square matching algorithm. It's a very fast algorithm and the process includes good radiometric corrections and offers great results for open terrain areas where the major focus is not on buildings or rooftops but more on rural areas. The second workflow we want to explain and to show is the true autophoto workflow, which also is run through the area mapping project type. We will introduce the semi-global matching for 2.5D data. We will show how the true autophoto is uh, processed in a very high automatic way and also how the point clouds that are generated are pre-filtered for this process. It will allow us to create very good looking buildings where the rooftops have sharp edges, which is typically for true autophotos one of the major criteria. The third workflow we want to show is then the close range 3D project types where we will extract also a point cloud and a mesh or a textured mesh and which is a typical result for close range projects. So for the area mapping case we are assuming we have typically nadir looking images straight down looking on our main area interest and as we mentioned deliverables will be then autophotos or true autophotos. The close range projects are typically flown with circles or with the main target in a specific location and here for these oblique views we have photos then also seeing sometimes sky areas in the background and where we cannot generate a standard autophoto now if you would just look straight down then you would just see the rooftop but in the close range areas we are more interested also into the facades of buildings or for some objects also how they are looking from a side view to showcase these different workflows we will use our standard demo data that you can download from our uh, download area for the area mapping cases, we will use the training data UAS, which is here, this data set here as a screenshot. And also for the close range, we will use the training data UAS 3D. Here you can see the web page address for the imaging download area, where you can then register and access the data. And here in the notepad I added the sharing link for Google Docs which is also in the YouTube description you can find this link where you see very detailed how to register for this page and how you can download this demo data and how you can install the demo data. In case you are not able to access Google Docs from your location just drop us an email here to imaging support trimble.com so we can help you then to access the data. We hope you will enjoy the video tutorials for these three major workflow scenarios and we wish you a nice day and see you soon. Goodbye.